Good morning from MWC 2025. I'm here together with Jean-Philippe Fournier, CEO of Spectronite. Hello, Jean-Philippe. Nice to meet you. Hi, Akim. Nice to meet you too. MWC 25. What are you showcasing here in Hall 5? Uh, we are showcasing our uh, wireless backhaul solutions. So uh, we have, uh, uh, we are showcasing our first products who are who allow mobile operators to increase the capacity of their backhaul up to their 4G or 5G base stations. Okay. So what was the initial vision behind Spectronite and how has it evolved to drive innovation in the wireless backhaul technology as of today? Yes. So uh, when uh, operators transition from 4G to 5G, very often the, the bottleneck in deployment is the capacity of the backhaul, right? Okay. Uh, fiber is a great way to drive capacity down to the uh, last mile, but there are plenty of geographies and plenty of use cases where there's no fiber at all, yeah. and there will not be for a very, very long Especially time. Especially rural areas. Rural areas, very remote areas as well. So uh, um, wireless backhaul is here to stay but the capacity of traditional backhaul is not sufficient. So really the, the vision was drive wireless backhaul up to 5G speeds. And that's why we introduced a completely new generation of microwave backhaul radios. So we could say that the existing technology is not as future proof, which is currently deployed. Uh, it's an understatement, actually. Uh, the current wireless backhaul technology has been invented back in the 1970s. Oh, yeah. It's probably the oldest uh, technology uh, in the current mobile uh, wireless uh, infrastructure uh, of the mobile operators. And we have really got microwave transmission up to speed, taking into account the very latest uh, development in signal processing and telecommunication and transmission technology. I've seen here at your stand that you have on one side a hardware and also software solution. How is Spectronite balancing innovation and practicality for your future proven concept? Uh, basically, we are bringing a new generation to the market, which means we had to uh, uh, start all over again on the hardware yeah. and then being able to, to build a completely new hardware architecture that could support our very high speed uh, transmission technology. So therefore we had to completely revise uh, what is being done today by our industry com uh, competitors yeah. and start all over again from a fresh ground uh, uh, and, and to define this uh, a, a new architecture of hardware and run a very high speed uh, uh, real-time software, embedded software. So you actually had to reinvent the hardware, we could say? Yes, it's a different structure of hardware, a different way of doing it, different filtering, completely uh, changing the mix between hardware and software. Uh, traditional products today in the market are probably 80 plus percent composed of hardware. I mean, okay. really, the logic of the product yeah. is in hardware. Okay. In our case, we've transitioned to a more, let's say, generic or hardware platform yeah. that's capable of running our software, uh -huh. and we empower the capabilities of the product through our software. So the software is a crucial stack of your solution? It is crucial. It is very advanced. Uh, we are looking, we have implemented even transmission technologies that are newer and more recent than what has been implemented for the 5G base stations okay. uh -huh. so really we are up to the state of the art uh, with transmission technologies in these products okay interesting so how does spectronite anticipate and adapt for future environmental regulations especially in the network tech area that's a very very good point i mean changing the infrastructure or changing the architecture of the product yeah. allows us to reduce by a vast factor the amount of hardware that operators need to put on their towers. Uh -huh. So we are able to, I mean, what we provide is very high capacity for operators. The way we do that is by doing some uh, digital channel aggregation in the okay. microwave. Okay. Traditionally, it, it used to be carrier aggregation using hardware. So whenever operators need to increase the capacity of their network, they need to pull more and more boxes. Okay. So loading their towers with, uh, with more hardware, increasing the, the, the load and the, and the wind load of the towers, which is really a big issue in today's deployments. So we come up with a very compact uh, hardware that is able to, by software, generate a large number of channels. And, and therefore, it's resu it results in a huge saving in terms of hardware footprint, uh, weight, uh, very simply weight of the equipment, but as well on the tower load and, uh, and, and, and the overall TCO for the operator. Now, with regards to specifically on environmental uh, uh, regulations, we are NC member, 
we are contributing to making our industry better in terms of environmental con uh, contributions. And what we have developed in our product is something we're pushing in standardization as well okay. to help our, our competitors to move towards the same direction into being more efficient with lower resources. So it's also, let's say, built to make an impact for the industry. It is. I mean, making impact for the industry and making impact for the, for the environment mm -hmm. and for really help operators get more capacity with lower TCO. So your technology achieves 98 spectrum utilization and delivers 20 times capacity boost. I'm very curious, tell, tell me more about that. Yeah, so basically what we provide is higher capacity than yeah. traditional systems. So we have, by generating large number of channels by software, we're able to switch on as many channels as we wish. Okay. So we, are, we have, in, in the radio we are present showcasing at the show today, we're able to generate up to 32 channels at once with a single full outdoor unit, which is a revolution in microwave today. Uh, doing that, we increase the capacity, but the best part is also that within each channel, we are way more efficient than traditional uh, uh, microwave solutions. We have the capability with our new transmission waveform to use up to 98% of the channel, whereas our competitors stop with between 80 and 90% of the channel is used and the rest is lost. So this is really improving the efficiency and of the overall capacity. Out of curiosity, what would you say is the reason that this technology has not been invented yet before? That's a very good point. Uh, I think up to 4G, there was really no need for a very high capacity microwave. I mean, what we are talking, the speeds we're talking about here is one, two, three, four, five, close to getting up to 10 gigabit, which is really a breakthrough in terms of capacity for the traditional microwave bands. Uh, I think the reason is mostly for, there's been a choice from all the vendors community to move towards very high frequencies, 18 gigahertz, 80 gigahertz, E-band radios, they provide 10 gigabit of traffic, but then the length of the hops is very much reduced. So E-band is, is a very good solution but in practically for okay. operators trying to upgrade their networks okay. over large regions, it's super difficult to, to use E-bands. The, 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 the hops are way too short. So okay. we, re, we were really looking for a solution to tackle the toughest part, which is the long distance, very high capacity. So it's more about the next level of connectivity. Exactly. Okay, all right, interesting. So we talked earlier about the AI-powered network optimization and backhaul virtualization. Uh, I, essential and powerful tools. So how does Spectronite use this kind of innovations to seamlessly integrate them? Uh, actually, as I told you, we have a large part of the value of our proposition is in, in the software, yeah. right? So we are able to drive by software the channels that operators are going to transmit in. It means that we can program the radio to switch on, switch off, uh, arbitrarily okay. the channels. So we are basically, by software, uh, controlling the spectrum. So it's a real breakthrough in the way we virtualize the spectrum management for operators. Mm -hmm. And uh, we really give operators and we empower them to, uh, to have a complete virtualized spectrum management. Yeah. It's something that has uh, come up in, in the base station business. We're pushing that in the microwave backhaul as well. Yeah. And, and we believe microwave backhaul today is the last part of the mobile operator's run okay. that needs really to be virtualized. And I think we are bringing that to the table. Okay, very interesting. So what inspired Spectronized digital carrier aggregation and software-defined architecture? And how do you redefine this network performance? So what in, uh, the inspiration behind that was really a few years ago, I was in the microwave business already in previous companies, and I realized that uh, there was one way to increase the capacity, which was channel aggregation. And when I was trying to understand the hardware way to do that, the, the way that our competitors are doing it still today, I, I thought it was super non-optimal. I mean, it's, it's an, an amount of hardware that's really super, uh, super high that operators have to put on top of their towers. Uh, with, with bringing a lot of uh, additional costs like uh, rental towers, I mean, yeah. rental costs on the towers, yeah. power consumption is exploding. Uh, so really we were looking at a way to get the capacity without the hardware hurdle. 
and, and really transitioning to a software model helped us do that. And, and really, we replicate in software exactly what an operator would get with their very heavy branching units and all their, all their uh, outdoor units uh, on top of towers. So in IO, is it easy to integrate the solution in the existing, set, in the existing setup? I think it has never been that easy. I mean, you have just like one single full outdoor unit, yeah. plug that to the antenna, and there you go. You are able to, to, to program the software, the, the spectrum you okay. want to use, and be able to have a 10x, 20x increase in your capacity yeah. from day one. Crazy. Super easy. So exciting times for you, Ed. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have very good traction from uh, some of the leading uh, telecommunication groups. Uh, I mean, which is for a startup company, uh, yeah. an extra, an extra, uh, a very good uh, uh, starting, uh, starting and, and, and I think we're getting there. Yeah, perfect. Thanks for your time. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Akim. Pleasure, well, too. That was Tech Africa News from MWC 2025. You can find more on techafricanews.com.